Hey everyone, it's Chris from Flag House, and this week I'm here with Coach Chip Candy for a special part two on field day activities. I don't know about you, but field day in our school was probably the best day of the year. We loved field day. And these are just three activities that you can include in your field day. There's lots, but these are three of our favorites. So we've got that coming up next. And hey, if you like activity ideas like this, then please subscribe to our channel. We always have brand new ideas from great PE experts like Chip every single week. Coming up next, it's Field Day Activities Part 2 on the Flag House Activity Channel. So we're going to show you three quick, easy, fun field day activities. In front of you, you have one die, you have six cones. What you have to do is you've got to get rid of your six cones. Now here's how you're going to do it. The first person in the row is going to roll the die as quickly as they can. If it's a two, they're going to take their number two cone and they're going to bring it out and they're going to put it right in front of their group at number two. Next person rolls a four, they're going to bring theirs out and they're going to put it right in front of their group at the number four spot. Next person rolls a four, there's a problem. The four cone is already out here. What do you think you're going to do? You're going to bring the four back with you and put it back in your spot. Now, as soon as the first person rolls, the next person, you're immediately going to pick that die up and you're going to roll. There you go. There you go. Now you got it. Now you got it. You're rolling now in front of your group. Look, where's your group? Where's your group? Your group's over here. Now you got it. Now you're rolling. Now you're rolling. Put it in front of your group, in front of your group. Three, look at you guys. These guys are going to bring them back before you finish. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. If you roll a one, this is going to be crazy. Oh, that's good. You got to put three back. Put the three back. You're going to roll and you've got to get them out there. But the only way that you can get your cone out there is by water bottle flipping, or in this case, cone flipping, and getting it there. So if I roll a one, I've got to come out and I've got to flip it and land it like that. That's good. Now, what happens if I miss? All right, if I miss, I keep going. I can just keep going. Meanwhile, everybody else, I finally get it, I can go back. What happens if I keep going and going and going and going? And somebody else rolls a one. They just come up and take my place. So now, what happens if you have a six out here and it is already here and you roll a six and it's already landed? You have to go back and you have to start flipping it again. Oh, nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop right there. Let's see what we got. Right here, we have some barnyard, crit barnyard critters. And what you have to do is you've got to take your barnyard critter and you've got to get them down there into your bucket. Now, the only way you can do that is by using one finger with the three of you. So the three of us have to get around this with one finger. Somehow they've got to have their finger, the three fingers, but they cannot, they cannot use anything but a finger. Now, a thumb is also acceptable. Now, they've got it right there, and they've got to transport it down there and drop it off. And if they get one down there without dropping it, they may come back and get another one. No, take it back, take it back, take it back. Good, good, good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, no, take it back, go. No, take it back. Let me see, let's see. Boom, they got it. All right, they got two down here. The way this works is he's going to go out there. I'm going to throw this to him, Frisbee style, so that he can catch it on his arm. He may not catch it with his hand. You can only catch it with your, but you could use two hands if you wanted to. We've got to get this all the way to the wall. So I'm going to throw it to the first person. Ah, oh, it's short. It's got to come all the way back to me. I'm going to do it again. Hopefully he catches it. 
As soon as he catches it, he's gonna turn and throw it to the next person. If he catches it, he gets to throw it to me. I hope our third person's down here to finish. He must be touching the wall, and that's good. He can leave it there. We now go back and get another hoop, and we start again. Good. He got all three? All right, keep going. Good, leave it there. Come back and get the next one, go. All right, get it up in the air, get it to him. Come on, come on, come on, this is it. Oh no! Come on, let's go. So these are some activities that you could do at just about any field day, right? Be crazy, you know, just another one of those crazy activities you add on a field day. All right, good job today, thank you very much, well done.